Game Control Repairs. In this video, I'll be showing you how to replace an iPhone 3GS glass digitizer or touch panel. The reasons you may have to replace your glass digitizer or touch panel are suppose uh, its touch panel is damaged, cracked, or unresponsive. I've got an iPhone 3GS here just to quickly show you what's an issue with this one. The bottom over here, this one doesn't respond sometimes when you tap. So as you can see this one's not working it doesn't work here so what we'll be doing we'll be replacing this touch panel uh, with a new one these are the tools required in order to carry out the whole operation you need obviously a brand new touch panel sim tray opening tool suction cup small phillips double zero screwdriver micro turn brazilian screwdriver or pry tool best option is to purchase one of these opening iphone ipod opening toolkits these toolkits have pretty much everything, suction cup, pry tools and Phillips style zero screwdrivers. You can purchase this from our online store. Uh, you'll also be needing adhesives. Uh, I'll just explain uh, where these ad adhesives go. Next, you'll be needing a heat gun. We'll be taking the temperatures uh, 100 to 150 degrees. Just to quickly give you a brief overview of what we'll be doing. I've got another assembly here so it's got a touch panel and the bezel frame uh, the adhesives these go here so what we'll be doing we'll be taking off the old one and placing these new adhesives here and here so in order to separate the touch panel from the bezel frame we'll be applying the heat along this side here here and separate the old touch panel from this bezel frame uh, please ensure do not apply the heat for more than seven to ten seconds over here or here uh, as you can damage the flex cable and your speakers okay let's get going let's open up your iphone uh, step one turn off your mobile phone and remove the sim if there's any sim in there next uh, we'll be removing these two uh, small screws so grab your Phillips double zero screwdriver and remove the two screws next uh, grab your suction cup and place it just above the home button uh, we'll be separating the uh, the glass digitizer LCD assembly from the bottom frame so simply okay so that comes off uh, make sure you don't lift it all the way over as there are three cables connected okay so there are three cables disconnect this Disconnect number two, and the third is the LCD cable. Simply uh, unclip it first and slide it out. So our front assembly is separated from the bottom frame. So we won't be using this. Next, uh, we need to separate the touch panel from the metal uh, from the uh, bezel frame in order to do that uh, we'll be using the heat gun and we'll be separating it out okay before doing that we need to separate or remove the LCD first so there are six uh, small little screws that I'll be removing these are located here so number one two three four five and six is supposed to be here but seems like somebody already attempted a repair and it's missing okay so let's take off all these screws okay uh, now we are able to separate um, the LCD Simply place your uh, small micro screwdriver here 
and gently pull it up. And our LCD is separated. Okay, so place your LCD here. Next, uh, we'll be separating the touch panel from the bezel frame. In order to do that, we need to use the heat gun. Next, grab your heat gun, take it to 120 to 150 degrees and we'll be applying the heat over to this side, this side and for 7 to 10 seconds over here and here. Next uh, we are now able to separate our glass digitizer or touch panel so simply you can use your prior tool or your small micro turn per and screwdriver and take it off in case it's not coming off easily so you have to apply the heat for a few more seconds and continue along okay our um, touch panel is separated from the frame next uh, remove all the existing adhesive from the frame Once all cleaned, uh, let's place our new adhesive over here and here. Next, um, let's remove the adhesive cover. Next, grab your new touch panel, peel off this sticker, and simply align it with the home button. So, this is how it's supposed to go, like this. Next, grab your LCD and slide it in there. Just align this with this. Next, place the LCD screws. So there's supposed to be six screws. Right now our front assembly is ready, let's put it back in the bottom frame. All you need to do is just align three cables and place it in three connectors. First the LCD cable.
next uh, let's place the two Phillips screws here let's turn it on and test it over and see everything is functioning okay um, slide it over that's working so that's working the main issue was here so let's just test it so that's working this is good this is good so all seems to be okay home button is okay all good